The other article that I was uh, looking at this week, this one was about how the uh, schools are continuing to uh, increasingly use the iPad in their classrooms. Carrie and I saw something on TV uh, on the news the other day about a, a classroom of uh, kindergartners in in uh, mm. Maine, I think, or maybe maybe I'm mistaken, one of the states. And uh, this whole school was uh, experimenting using it in the kindergarten classes. And, uh, you know, there was a debate. People were uh, making points about whether this would be more interfering with learning or actually uh, aiding the learning process. What do you think? I can't really think of what the iPad would have that a laptop wouldn't. Mm -hmm. When I first saw the iPad come out, I, I, I thought, well, this is really a slick product, but it's uh, mostly you know, designed just... for... It just looks like a giant iPod. I mean, sorry, giant iPhone. It does. It has this, all the same functions as an iPhone. You can only open one program at a time, whereas right now on this laptop, I've got two programs going. I've got Skype and, uh, you know, Internet, uh, Firefox Internet Explorer, whereas the, uh, the, the iPad, you can't. So I think it's kind of limiting in that regard. I don't know. I'm a little skeptical thinking that it's a, a bit of a fad at the yeah. moment. And it's flashy and it makes the school district look as if they are. They're on know, top of the technological uh, cutting edge or something. But yeah. so it, it, the do point, you think point it'll is, be distracting yeah. to yeah. children, uh, especially I, at that I age? Agree. That, that was what, exactly what I was thinking. It, it, don't, I don't want to be, cr be curmudgeon y, but <laughs> when I studied journalism and all that, 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 they described television and computers and other things. Well, no, television as what they called cold mediums, mm -hmm. meaning. They don't require the brain to do a lot of active things. Right. There's listening and there's watching. Listening and watching don't require the brain to engage nearly as much as reading. Right. Well, and speaking, but reading is the point. I mean, I suppose there's, that, uh, that there could be all sorts of slick programs that allow people to do that. I don't know en enough about it. I, I, uh, I trust that the, the, that the superintendents of that school district probably, you know, had good reason to. But I'm, I'm, I'm initially thinking that, there's, that it's kind of a gimmicky, frankly. Yeah, you know? I have the same feeling. I was surprised to learn when one of our neighbor's kids is going to the middle school that, that Alex and Austin would go to. They were saying that the boy in middle school is actually using a laptop, uh, and he has to send all of his homework via email to the teacher mm -hmm. rather than mm -hmm. the way we probably grew up doing it. Uh, so I, I don't know if I like that or not. I, my first reaction was to, to, as you put it, to be a uh, curmudgeon-y. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be like, back in my day, we had books, giant books. <laughs> hey, kids. And we oh, ate dirt. Dirt, man, and we liked it. <laughs> kids today.